Hi, and welcome to another installment from PanicAttackRecovery.com, home of the free newsletter on Panic Attack Recovery. I'm Matthew Wagner. One very exciting book that I came across a number of years ago was called Feeling Good, The New Mood Therapy. It was written by Dr. David Burns, the well-known psychiatrist you probably have heard of. Well, maybe not. But back to the book. It was very exciting when I realized the ramifications for those suffering from anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. This book, in my opinion, opened up a whole new world of relief for panic attack uh, sufferers. More precisely, this, is, this was exciting to me because it was my introduction to cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, allows you to examine your own thoughts for what are called cognitive distortions. Um, cognitive distortions exist when we're feeling anxious or depressed. And under the CBT model, uh, this is what's creating our anxiety or depression or, or any feelings um, of emotional upset in, in situations. Um, are these cognitive distortions. Now I'm not talking about normal situations where we would all feel anxious. I'm talking about the irrational feels, irrational fears rather, that um, you know anxiety sufferers have in their everyday lives. So what the perspective of this book is, is that these distortions um, are at the root of our depression and anxiety. And once we can examine and find these uh, thoughts, you know, we can really have a breakthrough. But let's talk a little bit more about this. Um, looking back at my own thoughts when I was having panic attacks, I knew my thoughts were racing and often circular. And, uh, you know, the same thing that many people report. They, they can't find a way to be free of their own thoughts. Well, this book literally shows you how to examine your own thoughts and in doing so feel a lot better. You know, this, this is such a huge benefit, as I said. Um, you know, once a distortion, really the distortions, because it's normally more than one distortion, uh, you know, the underpinnings of your, forming the underpinnings of your anxiety. Um, so once this distortion has been pinpointed, a new thought or series of thoughts can, can then be substituted in, in the place of these distortions. Um, so really what's powerful about this book is that Dr. Burns went on to include many actual examples that he had encountered in his own clinical practice and he covered right through to the outcomes. So you would work through the uh, vignette of a current client who had these issues and right through to the outcome. You would work, w rather work through, sorry, uh, work through the thoughts of the sufferer and, and reach a conclusion. Now, you know, that's all fine and well. And, and the real breakthrough comes for you, though, once you work through your own thoughts. So it's, it's all fine and well to read about someone else's thoughts and work through their thoughts, but you've really got to work on your own thoughts. It's once you turn this process on to yourself that it's very effective. Now, Dr. Burns in this book explains that how over the course of our lives, we panic attack sufferers have developed broader global beliefs, and as, as, any, as everyone has, but our beliefs have led to our anxiety and panic attacks. And the book goes on to provide instructions on how you and I can discover these It's not about beating up on yourself, but it's about reframing your perspective on things in a way that is more realistic and has a better outcome for you, and really has a better outcome for all, because it, it allows you to take on perspectives of other people as well and see their ways of thinking, because that's all part of the process of recognizing distortions. Now, you can find a ton of information about Dr. Dave, David Byrne's books. If you join my free newsletter on panic attacks, anxiety, and agoraphobia, just simply go to the website www.panicattackrecovery.com. So it's www.panicattackrecovery.com, and you can find out a ton more information about Dr. Burns and his books. For instance, he has a, a recent edition out. Well, it's been out for a couple of years now. And it's, it's, it's called When Panic Attacks. So it's specific about panic attacks, phobias, anxieties, and fears. And I suggest that you should check this book out. But really, you know, to be honest with you, having read both books, I would be tempted to still recommend Feeling Good, The New Mood Therapy, as the first book to read. You can no doubt get this from your library for free. 
um, or pick it up at a used bookstore for next to nothing. And I would encourage you to read that book because I, I really think the introduction through that is very helpful. Dr. Burns later wrote a handbook um, I want to mention just very quickly which was also the new mood therapy but it was a handbook and it, it, in it included many more techniques for anxiety and panic attacks as well as depression and, and other fears but it expanded on the new mood therapy book but again I would still recommend the uh, book that I've been talking about primarily today which is uh, feeling good uh, the new mood therapy uh, as your initial book I think it really allows you to capture the perspective of cognitive behavioral therapy and I think that the examples used at that time at least for me were very easy to relate to and I, I think that was a very good entry point so sometimes it, it all looks it, it all depends on you know how you're introduced to something and it's, its efficacy I think sometimes seems to um, stem from who introduces you to something not so much who maybe but um, how you're introduced to something so you know who introduces you to some something can can influence how you're influenced so I think that it's a it's a powerful book it's a good introduction and I would highly recommend you even go to your library go online or even go to Amazon and read feeling good and uh, certainly encourage you to look at his other books as well but primarily that would be my recommendation recommendation to look at that book it's not specific to panic attacks but again I think you're probably getting the sense that it's not just all about panic attacks it's about cognitive distortions and how they can influence a variety of situations in your lives which of course includes panic attacks but includes other things that we all struggle with as human beings I hope that you enjoyed the video and found it very helpful and informative and I would encourage you to uh, visit my website at www.panicattackrecovery.com thank you information on panic attack recovery recovery from agoraphobia and anxiety please visit my website at panicattackrecovery.com and sign up for my free and continuous newsletter thank you Material in this newsletter is provided for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for a psychologist, psychiatrist, or other health care provider's consultation. Please consult a psychologist, psychiatrist, or appropriate health care provider about the applicability of any opinions or recommendations with respect to your own panic attacks, anxiety, and agoraphobia, or any other symptom or condition.